You know, it's interesting how Stoicism offers a different perspective on friendships, especially for those of us who might not have many friends. In our society, there's often a pervasive belief that our worth and happiness are intrinsically tied to the size of our social circle. We're bombarded with images of people surrounded by friends, attending social gatherings and living seemingly perfect lives. But what if you find yourself on the fringes of this social whirlwind, with only a handful of friends or none at all? In the eyes of Stoicism, this doesn't necessarily indicate failure or inadequacy. Instead, it presents an opportunity to reflect on one's values and priorities and cultivate a sense of self-reliance. Stoics argue that true happiness and fulfillment stem from living a life of contentment regardless of external circumstances. Therefore, the lack of friends may indicate a conscious choice to prioritize inner growth over external validation, to cultivate self-sufficiency and to focus on what truly matters in life. While friendships can certainly enhance our lives, they are not the sole source of fulfillment. Stoics believe that relying too heavily on external relationships for validation can lead to a fragile and fleeting sense of happiness. Instead, they encourage us to focus on developing qualities within ourselves that contribute to our well-being regardless of our social circumstances. Together, we'll navigate through the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, shedding light on human connection and self-exploration that we all encounter along our journey. Six reasons for having few friends or no friends at all. One, fear of rejection. Have you ever experienced the sting of rejection in friendship? It's more than just being left out of a group or feeling excluded from a conversation. It's that sinking feeling in your gut, those nagging doubts about whether you truly belong. It's the sense of not being valued or appreciated for. Who you are, it's the feeling of not being good enough. It's the fear of failure, the fear of being cast aside and forgotten. You start questioning your worth, wondering if you're valued for who you are or if you need to measure up to some invisible standard. Fear grips you, whispering insecurities and casting shadows of doubt on your ability to connect with others. Imagine fear as a silent shadow lurking in the corners of your mind. It's that nagging voice that creeps in when you consider reaching out to someone new, filling you with worry about whether you'll be accepted or understood. This fear, born from our deep-seated need for acceptance and belonging, can hold us back from forming the meaningful connections we yearn for. But what if we dared to step into the light, to embrace vulnerability instead of shying away from it? What if we acknowledged that the risk of rejection is outweighed by the possibility of a genuine connection. It's a daunting prospect to be sure, but Stoicism offers us tools for overcoming fear and building emotional resilience. Amid our fears, Stoicism teaches us to confront our doubts head on, to acknowledge them without letting them control us. It's about finding the courage to reach out to others, even when the possibility of rejection looms large. After all, isn't the potential for a genuine connection worth the risk? So, Let's challenge ourselves to push past the fear, to step out of our comfort zones and into the realm of vulnerability. In doing so, we open ourselves up to the richness of human connection, forging bonds that can enrich our lives in ways we never imagined. To the pace of modern life. In today's fast-paced world, life often feels like a never-ending marathon, with every moment accounted for and every second ticking away. From the moment we wake up to the incessant buzz of notifications on our smartphones, to the late night hours spent scrolling through social media feeds, our days are consumed by a whirlwind of activities. Amidst this chaotic rush, finding the time and space for genuine human connections becomes increasingly challenging. Have you ever felt like trying to catch a fleeting shadow? The constant demands on our time and attention leave little room for nurturing and maintaining deep friendships. But amidst this relentless hustle and bustle, are we sacrificing the very essence of what it means to truly connect with another soul? Life moves fast in today's society. The hustle and bustle of everyday life can sometimes blur our focus and pull us away from the meaningful connections that enrich our lives. As we navigate through the complexities of modern life, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of activities and forget the importance of fostering genuine human connections. But in the midst of this chaos, it's crucial to pause and reflect on what truly matters. 
Are we prioritizing our relationships and nurturing the bonds that bring us joy and fulfillment? Or are we allowing ourselves to be swept away by the relentless pace of life, neglecting the very connections that nourish our souls? It's time to reclaim our focus and prioritize the relationships that matter most to us. In the fast-paced world we live in, it's easy to lose sight of the value of genuine human connection. But by taking the time to nurture and cultivate deep friendships, we can enrich our lives and find meaning amidst the chaos. So let's slow down, take a step back and make time for the connections that truly matter. 3. Changing Circumstances Life is full of surprises, isn't it? One minute everything seems steady, and the next we're faced with unexpected changes that throw us off balance. Whether it's a new job moving to a different place, things shifting in our relationships or just the natural drift that happens as we grow, these transitions can leave us feeling lost, like we're wandering through a maze without a map. At first, we might feel unsure of where we fit in or who we can turn to for support. Well, that's life for you, always throwing us curveballs. It happens to all of us. One moment we're surrounded by friends and the next things shift and we're in unfamiliar territory. Sometimes these changes mean losing touch with people we care about, leaving us longing for the close bonds we once had and shared experiences we once enjoyed. It's like losing your favorite sweater in a crowded room. You search and search, but it's nowhere to be found. And just like that sweater, sometimes friends seem to slip away when life gets busy or when we find ourselves heading in different directions. As we walk the path of wisdom together, consider joining our community. Subscribe to stay connected, like if you find value, and share your thoughts in the comments below. But you know what? It's all part of the journey, isn't it? As we navigate these twists and turns, we might feel a bit lost without our usual crew by our side. So, sure, losing friends can sting. We miss the inside jokes, the late-night chats, all the good stuff. But instead of getting stuck in a pity party, stoicism teaches us to roll with the punches. It's all about focusing on what we can control, like our reactions. Stoicism gives us a way to deal with these tough times. Instead of dwelling on what's been lost, it teaches us to focus on how we respond to challenges. It's important to understand that feeling lost is just part of the journey. It's natural to feel sad about friendships that have faded. There's hope in the possibility of new beginnings. Perhaps the stranger we strike up a conversation with at a local cafe will become a close cherished friend, or someone at the gym will offer a fresh perspective on life. We might lose touch with old friends, but there's a whole world of new connections waiting for us out there. Remember, our ability to form deep connections isn't limited to the past. It's a skill we carry with us, ready to be rediscovered and honed whenever life throws us a curveball. Just think about it. If we were able to build meaningful friendships before, despite the challenges and changes we faced, then we definitely have what it takes to do it again. Sure, it might feel daunting to start over, but every new encounter is an opportunity waiting to be embraced. We've got a lifetime of experiences and wisdom under our belts, which means we bring a unique perspective and warmth to every interaction. So let's approach each new connection with curiosity and openness, knowing that the potential for deep and fulfilling friendships is always within reach. Saying goodbye to old friends can be tough, but it also opens the door to new opportunities. Let's face these changes with courage and resilience, knowing that every ending brings a chance for something new. This is what it means to live by the Stoic philosophy, finding strength in tough times and embracing whatever life throws our way. 4. Self-sufficiency Imagine this. You're on a solo hike through a dense forest. The path ahead is challenging with twists and turns that test your resolve. Yet, with each step, you feel a sense of empowerment, knowing that you alone are responsible for navigating this journey. In life, Solitude isn't always a lonely path. For some, it's a deliberate choice to become self-reliant and self-sufficient. Instead of depending solely on others for emotional support or validation, these individuals prioritize their own growth and inner resilience. It's like becoming your own best friend, learning to trust yourself to navigate life's ups and downs. Through moments of introspection and self-discovery, they uncover hidden depths within themselves, strengths they never knew they possessed. Every obstacle becomes a stepping stone to personal growth on their journey of self-reliance. They view solitude not as a weakness, but as an opportunity to cultivate their inner strength and resilience. Instead of constantly seeking validation from others, 
they turn inward, discovering their own capacity for growth and fulfillment. Picture it like this, they're the captains of their own ship, charting a course through life's storms with unwavering confidence. Sure, they may not have a crew to rely on, but they trust in their ability to weather any challenge that comes their way. So, while others may question their choice to walk alone, they embrace it wholeheartedly. They know that true strength lies in their self-reliance as they become the architects of their own destiny, forging a path uniquely their own. 5. Your trust was broken in past friendships. Ever found yourself scrolling through your contacts list, only to realise it's looking a little sparse? Maybe you've been burned by past friendships, left feeling disappointed or betrayed. It's like being handed a beautiful puzzle, only to find a few crucial pieces missing. Having no friends, or just a few, can sometimes stem from the scars of past experiences. Maybe you trusted someone with your secrets, only to have them spill them like yesterday's news. Or perhaps you opened your heart to someone, only to have it trampled on without a second thought. These experiences can leave us feeling wary, hesitant to let new people into our inner circle. After all, who wants to risk getting hurt again? It's like building a fortress around our hearts, shielding ourselves from potential pain. But here's the thing. While it's natural to be cautious, closing ourselves off completely can also deprive us of the joy and connection that friendships bring. It's like missing out on a beautiful sunset because we're afraid of getting sunburned. So, if you find yourself in this situation, take heart. Remember that every disappointment is a lesson in disguise, teaching us to set healthier boundaries and choose our friends more wisely. And who knows? With time and a little bit of courage, you might just find that the missing pieces of your puzzle start to fall into place, one friendship at a time. Social anxiety. Imagine stepping into a lively party where laughter fills the air and conversations buzz around you. Sounds like a fun time, right? But for some, such social situations can feel like plunging into icy waters, daunting and overwhelming. Social anxiety is like having a relentless shadow looming over you, whispering doubts and insecurities into your ear. It's the fear of being judged or rejected by others, causing you to shrink back and avoid social interactions altogether. You might picture yourself standing in a crowded room, feeling invisible despite being surrounded by people. It's suffocating, as if you're trapped in a glass bubble, watching life pass by from a safe distance. But what if you dared to challenge that shadow, to step out from behind its looming presence? Picture yourself taking a deep breath and plunging into the heart of the party, walking onto the dance floor or mingling at a party. Or maybe it's just smiling at a stranger or saying hi, embracing the discomfort of vulnerability instead of letting fear dictate your actions. What's the worst that could happen? Yes, it might feel like tiptoeing through a social minefield at first, but what if it also opened doors to genuine connection and belonging? In the realm of Stoic philosophy, such feelings are not dismissed but rather understood as natural occurrences within the human experience. Stoics advocate for acknowledging our emotions without allowing them to dictate our actions. So instead of allowing fear to paralyze you, adopt a Stoic mindset. Embrace the discomfort as an opportunity for growth recognizing that it's not the external circumstances causing distress, but rather your internal reaction to them. View social interactions as opportunities for learning and self-improvement, rather than battlegrounds of anxiety. And remember, you're not going through this alone. Stoicism teaches us to dig deep, to find that inner strength and wisdom we all have inside. Trust in your ability to face challenges head on, knowing that each step you take towards confronting social anxiety is a testament to your courage. While friends can make life better, they're not the only source of happiness. Relying too much on others for happiness can make it fragile. Instead, Stoics say we should look inside ourselves for fulfillment, no matter how many friends we have. If you're someone with few friends, Stoicism offers a comforting perspective. It reminds us that we have the power to be happy on our own. By embracing alone time as a chance to learn about ourselves, we can find peace and meaning. Stoicism also teaches us to accept our situation without feeling bad about it. Instead of focusing on what we lack, we should appreciate what we have and be grateful for it. In short, Stoicism tells us that our value isn't tied to how many friends we have or our social status. True happiness comes from building inner strength, accepting ourselves and finding peace within. 
So even if you don't have many friends, remember that you can still lead a fulfilling life by following the Stoic way.